obviously there's a big mental game in that, right? Like just not giving up and going home and hitting the showers. How much of it is like a mental game once you get into the fight of like, okay, so here's what this guy likes to do. Here's what I like to do. Uh, I can't redline for a full 25 minutes, so I've got to take that breathing break. Like, you know, you, you hear people in boxing talk about, oh, they have high fight IQ. Well, it's like, okay, what the fuck does that mean, right? Yeah. So, like, how, how much of it is the mental game, or is it just, like, the biggest stud with the most skills, put him in there, and he's going to win because it's human cockfighting? Like, yeah. like how much is there a mental game yeah. to it where you're like, oh, I, I know I beat that guy because I outthought him? Yeah. I mean, like, the physical part really is going to go far because we're playing a sport, you know, at the end of the day. But once again, when – everyone's physically good you know some little things are going to separate you and it is a lot of um like we're talking about just the tre the chess the the chess game of it the trickery the iq um dude and funny enough like it's gonna just be a dumb answer but it's just so much about luck like you know what i mean like i feel fights i won i don't know maybe it's just me and kind of the way i think like I don't know, like, everyone is just kind of lucky to be good or bad to me, in a way. It's like, they didn't really choose that. It's just kind of like, no one wants to, like, do that. It's like, well, why don't they change? Well, they, like, I'm sure they tried and they couldn't, like, even, you know, being sober or homeless or whatever you be, or, like, that guy's super good, like, he, or, like, someone be like, yeah, you just got to be mentally strong. I was like, wouldn't everyone want to be mentally strong? Are you just mentally strong because you're lucky to be mentally strong? Mm -hmm. Like, you weren't just like, I'm going to be mentally strong. Mom, can I be born mentally strong? You just, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's a really, it's a really weird thing. So I, I was always just like, what? Am I not just lucky that I had cardio and was able to push through that situation when another guy couldn't? He wanted to. But it's like, was I just lucky enough that like I wasn't as tired as you know? What I, mean? I don't think you're just lucky because I watched this video. <laughs> <laughs> I watched this video today in preparation for this interview, and you were on one of those floating treadmills, yeah. and they were showing something where I mean, you were at an all-out sprint, and then they were like, "Oh, his uh, Joseph's uh, heart rate recovers at like thirty percent better than that," and you look like the fucking Terminator on that treadmill, yeah. bro. I could I could see it in your eyes that you're like. I mean, it was it was like a warm up on a treadmill, yeah. and you're like, I'm gonna fuck this treadmill yeah. up. I could see it in your eyes, like I you know really what you're talking about. Yeah, those are the hardest tests ever, too. You and, really um, look like the Terminator running on that thing. You're yeah. like, wow, <laughs> dude. But you know what I mean? It's like, all right. So what does that have to do with my heart and shit and like blood pumping? But it's like, I didn't like. That was just in. That was just there. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like I didn't. I wasn't. I don't know if that took training. I'm sure it did. Yeah. But it's like, aren't you, isn't someone lucky they're born like that or like yeah. this or like this or like that? You know what I mean? So you're probably <laughs> blessed to have like naturally good cardio and physiology. Yeah. So there's little things like But there's that. a lot of people that won't get on the yeah. treadmill and run at a full yeah. sprint for five minutes. Yeah. 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 So I don't know. It's just, it's just an easy way. I think maybe to, um, also like accept, you know, sometimes just how crazy like the sport is. Of just like, you know, I know I'm better than that guy. Or even just to be like grateful when you win in a way. Because it's like, that guy was just as good. Like, so like, whenever I would win, I would just be like, oh, I'm like, it's just nice when things work out. Because sometimes they don't. Yeah. You know, and it was just, so maybe that was a way for me to cope with that. Because um, it's it's weird. Like, I sometimes just feel lucky and and everything, like being successful or or whatever that even means, or, like, just doing what I get to do. And it's just kind of, um, so, yeah, maybe that was just an easier way for me to cope is just, like, look, things just worked out, <laughs> you know? Right. Because some nights it's, like, dude, I wanted to win this more than anything, and I know I could, but, like, why didn't I? Is well, there a fight that sticks luck. in your mind? Is oh, there man, a, a lot. I mean, all my title fights, you know, I've, I lost. I lost multiple title fights. You is know, there one so, that sticks in your mind or like, fuck, so I, I was want never that night back? I was never a world champion, you know? and Which is crazy because you beat some world champions. I beat world champions and I had split decisions with world champions. Is that the fight with Mighty Mouse that like literally you could have just flipped a coin? Yeah, that one. Um, Dominic Cruz um, at, at a higher weight I had a split decision with fuck. Um, as well. And once again, it's just like the only thing I can 
look at in those is like fucking it's just lucky like it's so like I remember your question was kind of like in the fight it's like is it like so much physical or you're making these adjustments with your fight iq and all this it's like all of that is correct but it's like what the fuck is gonna land like when you're using your fight iq and the physical is taking over well his physical is kind of overwhelming your fight iq oh there's a section when your fight iq actually worked you know what i mean because he was it's because he was just tired enough or you know his physical started wearing a little bit and it's just it's just freaking like a universe of comets and shit and bones just flopping around and like something's going to hit each other and that's why i was always just like dude like I literally always thought, even after I won, I was just like, I'm just glad it worked out. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> right, right. I could have got, anything can happen in a fight. Yeah. And it's like you train to, yes, go out there and, you know, finish the guy in the first round. But, like, you're also prepared, like, for the hardest 25 minutes of your life. Right? And it's just like, like, where the luck comes in is just like, anything could have happened is just like, he wanted that just as bad as I did. And it's just like, you know, I've probably beaten some people that were better than me that night or better than me um, and gotten lucky. And, you know, they've gotten lucky. And it's just, I literally think when a fight's happening, it's like, it's on that day. But literally, if something happened five minutes later, it's totally different. You know what I mean? Right. Like, there's a like if you were held in the back for a minute longer because that fight finished a minute longer like there's a different reality taking place you know what i mean where this is happening instead of this is happening yeah and i and i literally just think that every time it's like like i said everyone in the ufc is good and then when you get to the level where we were talking about with world title fights these are the best two people in the world right in their weight it was just like they weren't that much more physical or that much smarter or to train that much harder. What happened? And it right. was just like a freaking roll. You know, if you, I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. If you weren't Zen like <laughs> this, you probably could drive yourself nuts, right? Drive yourself back to drinking. If you were just like, well, what <laughs> if on October 12th, I would have, I would have locked up that Kimura. What could have been yeah. that? I mean, or that you, fight ended two minutes later. Yeah. And I was actually got to throw, you know, my 10 more kicks and get another round of grappling in the back. And, you know, this was rushed because a fight finished and they actually called me out before. Like, there's so much weird stuff like that, you know? Yeah. Um, that happened. So, yeah, man, it's um, it's it's crazy. So, yeah, to, to answer the question in there, I think the guys with the fight IQ and the physical, like, you have, it's just not an end-all, be-all. Like, you know, there's no blueprint of, like, well, you're going to win every fight because you're this physical or this smart. It's like, you're going to win a lot of good fights like that. But right. sometimes it's just... Some shit's just going to happen weird. By the way, <laughs> every everything you're saying, I absolutely love because I think I think the worst thing that ever happened to combat sports, ironically, is Floyd Mayweather trying to protect his perfect record because, you know, up until Floyd Mayweather, the best of the best just fought. And if you were a boxer who ended your career 35 and 6, it's like, yeah, you had six losses because you took the six hardest fucking fights of your yeah. life and that night just wasn't your life mm -hmm. or that night wasn't your night. And, and Floyd Mayweather basically, in my opinion, dodging people when they were in their prime because he wanted to protect his, you know, perfect record. I think it did such a disservice to the sport where now all the up-and-comer boxers, you know, you can't make the best fights in boxing, which is an argument for a UFC-type situation where there's one dude or a handful of a board of directors picking all the fights. And, yeah. like, if you got a fight, you couldn't say no, right? I mean, they, you kind of had to say yes and just fight whoever they, you fought. Yeah, you weren't really... <laughs> You weren't in a position to say no uh, right. a lot of times now. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, unless I, you were injured. 